some things you just wouldn't expect to see in a small town like Troutman, North Carolina, where the population is only around 2,700. This includes rapper DaBaby and his mega mansion, a $2.3 million home with two-story guard towers and concrete walls. Oh, and even stadium lighting in his backyard. Since DaBaby purchased the home and moved in, he's created a stir in the country town that residents weren't used to. His compound is on a quiet, two-lane street and has definitely attracted attention from the neighbors. I'll tell you why in this video and we're going to take a look at the gorgeous mansion DaBaby calls home. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jonathan Lindell Kirk, who we best know as DaBaby, is a rapper who rose to global fame a couple of years back after releasing several mixtapes between 2014 to 2019. His debut studio album Baby on Baby appeared on the Billboard charts, but his second album made the number one spot. The hit songs seem to keep coming from the rap star and DaBaby isn't slowing down anytime soon. At the time of this recording, he's already amassed a net worth over $3 million and he's only just getting started. While DaBaby has become one of the biggest rappers in the world, he still hasn't gone Hollywood. He hails from Charlotte, North Carolina and this is where he still resides to this day. His main house is an estate in the quiet town of Troutman, an area nearby Charlotte, and the mansion has drawn a ton of attention to the star for some of the property's wild attributes. Residents of Troutman definitely aren't used to seeing estates with massive guard towers and stadium lighting or caravans of black escalates, but it's what happened when DaBaby moved in. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to ring that bell, we post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, so today we're checking out rapper DaBaby's lavish mega mansion in the rural town of Troutman, North Carolina, and while he's installed some pretty over-the-top add-ons, the estate is impressive. If you like this video, we recently reported on Lil Uzi Vert's new mansion, so be sure to check that out after too. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In 2019, DaBaby was fresh off of his success in the music industry, but instead of putting down roots in Los Angeles like many rappers do, he stayed close to his hometown. He purchased a sprawling, modern, Tuscan-style estate in the rural town of Troutman, North Carolina, which cost him $2.3 million. Troutman is a small, charming town located about 35 miles north of Charlotte, and it has a population of under 3,000. DaBaby's property is close to where the Catawba River enters Lake Norman, on a quiet, two-lane street on a large lot spanning just under nine acres of land. His home is only a few minutes from Lake Norman State Park and backs onto the lake itself, while the mansion is full of high class details inside since the person who built the home lived there for a while and wanted the place to be perfect. The grounds of DaBaby's mansion are nothing short of castle-like. The lawns are all manicured, while the sprawling property has everything from gardens to a perfect rectangular pool with fountain surrounded by sun loungers. Elsewhere, there's even a multi-level putting green. DaBaby's estate already stood out amongst neighboring homes at the time of purchase, considering most of the other residences are modest one- and two-story homes valued between 250 k to 500 k according to records. The mansion spans over 11,200 square feet inside with five beds and 8.5 baths throughout. There are expansive entertaining areas on every floor of the home, including a massive combination living and dining area with kitchen. Here there's a living space by the front door with modern brick fireplace, flat screen TV overhead, and vaulted ceilings. Right next to this area is the dream chef's kitchen with lots of white marble and stainless appliances, sparkling chandeliers, bar style seating, and an additional table to dine at. There's also yet another dining room next door that has some built-in cabinets and a nook of windows. The main the main living area opens up to a large balcony with grill and outdoor kitchen. And also on this level, there's an office with another fireplace and large windows. Other features of DaBaby's mansion include a spacious walk-in pantry with more than one wine fridge, a sprawling playroom, another space that looks like a children's room with built-in bunk beds, and a state-of-the-art theater. Not to mention, it seems like the lower level is also fully finished, with exposed brick accent walls, hardwood flooring, a massive family room with TV, an entertaining area, and another another formal dining room. This level is larger than a ballroom, and there's even an old world custom designed wine cellar room with a table to host guests. 
It's a baby's master suite is the size of an apartment. It has a mounted TV, a lounge area, and sprawling walk-in closet and ensuite. His marble bath is fit for a king with huge open air shower taking up a full wall, a separate tub, and even his very own secret laundry room in one corner. Back outside next to the pool, there's a detached cabana with outdoor kitchen and an option for a guest suite or gym on the second story of the structure. If the baby's mansion wasn't luxurious enough, he made sure to add even more features once moving in. Home definitely didn't need any more work since it was just built in 2018, but it seems the rapper wanted some mega security at his fortress. After moving in, records show that the baby applied for a permit to build five guard stations on the perimeter of his estate and construction began for a 10 foot tall concrete wall, all of which neighbors weren't too fond of. We can see photos of the two story guard towers that the rapper got installed on his property and their hard to miss. In addition to these wild barriers, the baby has multiple Cadillac Escalades coming and going from the property and even installed stadium lighting in his backyard, which neighbors also complained about due to the brightness. It was unclear what the lights were for, but neighbors heard the baby had plans to build a football field on his property. Thanks to his Instagram, we can see the light poles that surround his full basketball court, which he has at home too, near the pool. While all of this had attracted a ton of attention from the neighbors and complaints started pouring in, at the end of the day, the rapper was able to install whatever he pleased onto the property. At one point, there were over 30 calls for DaBaby's address since he moved in back in 2019, whether it was for alarms going off, noise complaints, or complaints about the crazy construction. I guess that's what happens when famous people live in such a quiet town instead of Hollywood. One neighbor who seems to be a fan of DaBaby said, I understand he's a nice guy. I know he does a lot of public service stuff. I've seen him on television, but I've never met him. I don't think he does any walking around. He's not social. He bought the mansion to say he had a place to go where nobody's gonna bother him. Who's gonna come out here? There's no place to park and it's fenced all the way around. So now we've taken a look at the baby's mega mansion in the small town of Troutman, North Carolina. So I think that concludes this house tour. After checking out his estate, what did you guys think? What were your favorite features of the place? I thought the rapper's home was gorgeous, but I wouldn't expect anything less from him. I like the outdoor features like the pool and the large open air cabana best, as well as the amazing master suite. There's a closet and everything else that it came with. I can understand why someone as famous as DaBaby would get those guard towers and a massive wall installed for privacy reasons, but at the same time, I don't think that neighborhood has a lot of paparazzi or stalkers. It sounds pretty quiet to me. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about DaBaby's mansion down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I love getting to know all of you. We'll link you my latest video and you can drop me a comment. On August 20th, 1989, Jose and Kitty Menendez were found dead in the den of their own home. There's a group of TikTokers who are trying to raise awareness to release these brothers from jail who killed their parents named the Menendez brothers. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.